Hi guys and girls on YouTube, welcome to my channel. I wasn't planning on doing a video this week, but a strange thing happened yesterday. Um, a lady rang up and she wanted a TV repairing. So I went round to pick it up and when I got there, she said, I follow your channel on YouTube. She said, is there any chance of making a video of my TV being repaired? Now, I don't usually do requests, um, but I thought, well, if it keeps somebody happy, I'll have a go. Um, the only problem is I can't film this in real time because the batteries on the camera won't last long enough and also I can't hold the camera while I'm undoing screws and things so um, here we go Deborah um, this video this is for you and this is your TV been repaired um, I've set a clock on the wall so we can keep looking back at the clock and see how long it takes um, so uh, yeah okay enjoy Right, so first things first, um, this is quite a delicate job, so you need a lot of empty space. So here we go, I've cleaned off the, the bench, um, you can actually see this is a very big bench. Um, if you look right at the back, that's a flute meter, um, that gives you an idea of how big this bench is. That's the flute meter there. Um, I've set the clock on the wall, let's go and get the telly and get started. Right, so for anybody else watching this video, I've got the TV plugged in. I'll show you what the fault is. Let's just switch it on. And if you look, you can see there's some bright patches on the screen. Let's see if we can just move the camera. You can see them there. Um, now that's actually caused by the, uh, the lens dropping off the LED bars. And here, when the camera comes into focus, um, that's the brand new bars we're going to be fitting. Now it's this lens that falls off. Um, it's a seven year old telly. So with age, the glue hardens uh, and this lens falls off and it causes that pattern. Um, now what I always do in this case, in a seven year old telly, always put a new set of bars in. Um, you could just glue that on, but the chances are the LED bars coming to its end of its life anyway, so it won't last too much longer. And that means you're doing the job twice. And also, there's a very good reason um, why I don't glue these on. And um, perhaps at the end of the video, we can set up a little demonstration. I'll show you. Um, the reason is this has got to be in exactly the right position before you glue it on. Um, if it's not in the right position, it casts funny shadows on the picture. So maybe at the end of the video, we'll be able to set up a demonstration. Um, but as you can see, we've got bright patches on the screen. So let's just strip, uh, stop the camera and start stripping the set. Right, so that's the back removed uh, with my um, extra long screwdriver. I don't know why, I just find it a lot easier to use these. Um, that's the replacement LED bar set. Um, now what we've got to do now is take all this lot out. Uh, and the reason you've got to take all the boards and things out is because the reflector sheet in the back um, is held in with these clips and a lot of these clips are under the boards um, so we just strip the whole lot out now right so that's the tally stripped out um, I'll show you the problem if we lift this up um, underneath um, these clips so that's why we take everything out of the telly um, pull that off out of the way um, that's all the bits off the telly there um, I've also kept all the screws in different compartments so we get the right screws in the right holes uh, now what you've got to do is undo these screws under here um, and also we've got to take this frame off as well so I'll stop the camera and carry on right so I should be able to hold the camera and do this at the same time I've undone all the screws so that's the outer bezel that's the next piece mm, not going to plan trying to hold the camera as well uh, let's put it down. Right, so we lift that piece off there. And that now exposes uh, the LCD screen. Now very carefully, um, I'm earthed up as well, very carefully we've got to remove this out of its frame um, and let it hang down. The, um, the connections to the screen, these are actually chips on here, they're called uh, cough chip on film. Um, right, so let's do that next. We'll just, uh, I'll stop the camera again. 
Right, so as you can see, the um, connectors on the screen are now hanging down, they're hanging free. Now these are actually very, very delicate, so we've got to be really careful when we lift this out. Uh, so the next thing is take a big plastic sheet, wipe it all clean because we're going to lay the screen on here um, and we don't want any dust at all because any dust behind the screen will show up when you turn the picture on. So, uh, okay, let's press on them. Right, so that's the worst part. Uh, this is where it could all go wrong. Um, because if you look at the screen, it's only millimetre uh, thin glass. So we managed to lift the screen out without cracking it. Um, this is what we've got left. Now we've got to remove this plastic frame that the screen sits in. Right, so that's the bit of plastic out that where the screen sits. Um, now we come to these diffusers. Um, now, I don't know if I can get the camera in, but if we can lift that up... Well, great difficulty while I'm trying to hold the camera. Now the phone's ringing. Just let me stop the video a minute. Right, now, if you look here where I've lifted it up, you can see these... or well, you might not be able to see, but these various different plastic sheets. Um, it's absolutely critical that you don't get these in the wrong order. Um, they must go in the order they came out, otherwise you get a peculiarity on the picture. So what I do um, is I, ho I lift the whole lot in one go. I know some people to take, prefer to take them out one by one, but then there's a danger you might get them mixed up. So I just lift the whole lot out in one go um, and I turn it upside down and I put it on top of this blue roll with a screen underneath. Right, so that's the plastic sheet um, and the the, um, the diffusers underneath. Um, the reason I put them upside down is because you don't want any dust on the surface. Any dust on the surface will show up on the picture. So if you put it upside down, um, you can carefully inspect it before you put it back in the telly. Um, so if we go over to the telly now, you'll see the problem. Um, these are the lenses that have dropped off. Um, that actually focuses the light and these have all come off. Um, now these plastic clips here, and there's absolutely loads of these, um, because they're plastic and they're brittle, quite often they break getting them out. So um, I've got some spares in case we break any, um, but that's what the TV looks like um, with the LCD panel out. Um, so all we've got to do is take all these plastic bits out now and then we should be able to lift out this back plate right so that's the little plastic pegs out um, out of them holes now we've got to move on to these things right so as you can see i managed to get all these out and remarkably without breaking any um, that's the other bits all the screws are out and they're all lay they're all in boxes one two three four so they're all ready to go back in exactly the same place in reverse and um, all we need to do now is to lift this and that will give you access to the led bars all right so once again put that upside down and um that's the led bars that's what we're down to now and we're just going to put the new ones in um, these have got to go in the right order um, because if you notice there's an A strip and a B strip so that's where we're up to so far right so that's two of the bars out um, now what we do is we put the A one in first um, because as you can see there's a single hole there um, and there's a peg there it sits on. So we put the A in first, and that means all the others will drop into alignment, because if you look at the others, they're all slightly adjustable. Um, so fit the A first, and that will make sure they're all in the correct place. Right, that's the eight new LED bars in. Uh, now what I do is put the couple of boards back in, and we're going to switch the set on and make sure all the LEDs are lit, and there's no problem with it. And um, I usually just leave it running like that 10 minutes while I go and have a brew and um, just make sure everything's all right before we start reassembling it. Right, so I'll put the panels back in. Uh, let's just turn it on. Make sure all the LEDs, yep. Yeah, make sure they all light up. And then uh, what I do now is just leave that to sit for 5 or 10 minutes while I have a drink and uh, make sure everything's okay. 
then we'll carry on with the video right so everything's going good i'll turn it off and uh, we just take the panels out and uh, now reassemble it all right so when we left the screen and the next thing to do is to make sure that this screen is absolutely fitted properly in the corners um, and you can do that by visual check and also running your finger around the perimeter um, because the last thing we want to do is uh, clip the bezel on and if this isn't fastened in properly the screen will crack so once you've made sure that's perfectly sitting in um, we'll put the bezel on connect it up and uh, put all the boards back in right so that's the partially reassembled TV all we've got to do now is plug it in and try it and there we go so if I put, um, put a test signal on and um, as you can see the spots on the picture have gone and uh, we've managed to get it all back together without cracking the screen right so we'll just uh, stick the back on get it stood up on its stand and uh, run it for a couple of hours make sure everything's okay right so there we go that's the tv all back together that's the end result um, I'll just leave it now for a couple of hours while I do some other jobs just to make sure everything's okay. Um, now I know what you're thinking, how long has this taken? Well, to be quite honest, I don't really know because in between doing this TV, the phone's rung three times, somebody else brought a TV in for repair and uh, I also made a cup of tea. So we can look at the clock, um, but um, that doesn't really give you an indication. I would think probably about an hour, an hour and a quarter. Um, from start to finish right so I've set up this little demonstration to show you why gluing the reflectors isn't a good idea when the camera comes into focus you've only got a certain amount of time before the glue sets and if you don't get it in the right place if I move this about with my fingers you can see it cast unusual shadows on the picture so it's got to be exactly in the right place otherwise um, you cast these shadows so it's definitely not a good idea to glue these because you've only got a certain amount of time and the only way you'll know if it's in the right place is by putting a piece of paper over the top like this and uh, moving it about and then gluing it in place so definitely not a good idea to uh, glue them on right so the very last job to do on this tally um, is to get the um, LG factory service remote control and we need to enter the service mode and we need to turn down the burning current of the LEDs uh, that will make these run cooler and they'll have a longer life um, now we call that setting backlight so um, I'm holding the camera at the same time as I'm doing this so we press that button put the password in Uh, and that's into the service menu now we need to move down to white balance that's it there and if you look at the backlight setting it's set to 100% uh, which is far too much so if we move down and then take that down to about 80% just exit that and there we go so that's the current of the LED the running current of the LEDs is turned down and uh, hopefully now that should give the set a much longer life um, so there you go that is a video of your TV been repaired Okay, I'll see you in the next video then. Thanks for watching.